What is that? Something like shiny down there. What the hell is that? Is there somebody lying there? Dude, I cannot tell. What in the actual hell was that? I think I just saw someone back there. Hello? It's just a random picnic table. It kind of sounded like it came from back here. There's something on that picnic table. Hopefully I can get to it before uh, I end up leaving for my next trip, but I am gonna... What's up guys, welcome back to a brand new Randonautica adventure. So we're actually starting out here in my hometown in Brampton, Ontario, Canada. And uh, I've already actually run the very first intent. Uh, but before we get into that, uh, I just wanted to say that we have a new upcoming series very, very soon. It's going to be on this channel for you. Uh, I'm going to actually be going to do some sort of like extreme travel. I'm going to be heading to some remote areas of Canada, documenting it, probably doing some haunted along the way, probably going to do some randonautica along the way and just kind of, you know, film what the lifestyle is like out there. It's going to be awesome. Very, very much looking forward to it. Um, but yeah, apart from that, if you're not sure what this randonautica stuff is and you might be new here, uh, the randonautica app, short and simple, is basically this very strange app App that you can actually get on Google. I believe Apple has it too. Um, if you do use it, please, please be very, very careful. Um, but yeah, basically it uses intents, brings you to a location on the map using some sort of like quantum physics as it's described. And sometimes you may or may not find something related to that intent. Uh, in this case, it is telling me it is pretty far down this trail. Uh, I feel like I've been here before, but I'm not 100% sure. But um, before we get any further in this video, I do have a message from our sponsors. I'm pleased to announce our fantastic sponsor for this video, HelloFresh. With HelloFresh, you get farm fresh, pre-portioned ingredients and seasonal recipes delivered right to your doorstep. Skip trips to the grocery store and count on HelloFresh to make home cooking easy, fun, and affordable. That's why it's Canada's number one meal kit. In this box, we received five different meals. For tonight, we're gonna to be going with beef and feta meatballs. With HelloFresh, you can find new ways to add new recipes into the mix. No more stressing with planning. If you're like me and you're constantly busy, this will help reduce trying to figure out what's for dinner. Not only that, but it'll also save you a couple of trips to the grocery store. HelloFresh can definitely help you with your budgeting, especially with things costing so much more these days. With HelloFresh, you have predictable pricing, new recipes every single week. All right, guys, dinner is served. It's actually really, really good. I just tried the very first meatball here. Apart from that, thank you again to HelloFresh for sponsoring this video. Go and check out the link in the description below to check them out. And of course, use my code EXPLORING55 for 55% 55 off your first box and then 20% off for two months. This offer is valid for new HelloFresh subscribers only. And now, let's get back to the video. All right, and uh, before we go along, the intent that we are using is Lost Soul. That one is from Kaylee Bowser. Um, yeah, let's pretty much uh, get this thing going. Smash like button and let's get the party started. Okay, just to kind of start this one off here, we got some pretty ominous lighting. <laughs> it's not quite like, you know, LED lighting. It's just kind of that. <laughs> Okay, I'm pretty sure I may or may not have done this trail. We already found a giant piece of foam. That's wonderful. People just throwing their garbage everywhere. Uh, we got more garbage over there. What is that? That looks like a package of Chips Ahoy. Okay, fantastic. <laughs> it's so funny sometimes, the random that you find out here. Okay, so we got uh, a little bit of a hike ahead of us the nice thing is that it's not as cold as it was which is great what is that we got a ball is it a ball or a balloon no well, that's definitely a random ball okay that's cool uh, 
Okay, I definitely remember this place. Uh, so I've 100% been here before. So the, the point itself was looking like a bridge, which means, um, I think this is that bridge that we went to a couple of weeks ago. I don't remember if that was here on the main channel or if I left it uh, for a vlog or something. I thought I heard something, but probably just the wind rustling through the trees. And now we got a black balloon. Okay. I don't know why, but finding a random inflated balloon out in the sort of wild. I mean, we're not totally in the wild here, but I thought that was a person. <laughs> this looks like just a log, but to me finding like a random balloon, I don't know, it gives me like it vibes. <laughs> it also kind of reminds me of that random German song from a long time ago. What was it like 99 red balloons or something like that? This area is pretty cool though. I do like it. I imagine it probably looks quite nice during the day. Alright, so we got one creepy bridge here. I don't see anything, but we're nowhere near our point yet anyways. Uh, so, from what I remember, I do remember I found something like here. I don't even really remember what the heck it was. But I do remember there is a bridge way past this part. Which looks to be where our point is. It also looks like the river here has frozen over. Damn, so cold. Wait, what is that? I thought I saw something there. Is there something there? Oh, there is. Yeah, yeah, I almost missed that. What the heck? <laughs> Just looks like a, a pencil case from... Uh, what the heck was that movie called? Oh, man, I don't even remember anymore. Okay. Is there even something in it? Oh. Hang on a second. And this is how you get cold hands. Nope, empty. Except for the name Emily. Um, okay. That's creepy. Oh, what the hell? Heard something. Okay, so that's kind of creepy. Uh, because the other day we literally found a notebook from someone named Emily. What the hell? I don't know if that's just coincidental or... I don't know. Okay, I don't hear anything, I don't see anyone. So what the, the fuck is a random pencil case doing out here? <laughs> Just the odds that it has that name, that's like the creepiest part of that. Huh. Use my teeth to get my glove back on, I know I'm not supposed to, but it's all good. That is a tree, right? Hang on. Okay, that's just a tree. I thought someone was standing there. Damn, I swear I'm like super paranoid. After the last few encounters doing this, uh, kind of puts you a little on edge. Not gonna lie. Well, I think we still got some ways to go. I'm just trying to fix my glove a little bit. Maybe turn up the light here, so y'all can see a little better, as can I. It just looks like a whole lot of not much out there. <laughs> Everything's just kind of completely frozen over. It's not as cold as it was, it's starting to warm up now, probably for a short period of time, but uh... You know what, I kind of want to go and take a look at the river from here before we go any further. Let's go take a look. Just because it looks really cool when it's all frozen like this. 
So it is warming up. Still a little chilly, but not too bad. It's actually bearable when you bundle up. Yeah, look at that. It's just cool to look at because like you're imagining during the spring and summertime that all the water would be flowing through here. Um, I'm not going to step on it because I don't know how frozen it is. It does look like animals have gone across. But yeah, let's not test test our luck here. <sighs> the great thing is I think tomorrow Brad might be coming down. Oh yeah, look how it's like kind of sunken. Oh yeah, it's it's not completely frozen, so the water underneath is probably still flowing, so it's literally just a small top layer. So basically, don't step on that, because you'll probably fall in. Okay. Sounds like somebody murmuring down there. I don't know if the microphone's picking that up. Okay. I mean, people obviously walk through here, so could just be somebody walking through. We got the uh, emergency floaty. Course. Oh yeah, okay. There's the bridge. So here's where our point is. Lost soul. <laughs> uh, oh man, this, this spot is really creepy. I know it doesn't look like much on camera, but... <laughs> Okay, so why exactly is this our point? Looks like there's something there, but looks like just bottles. We got a random, random divot in the ice here. What is that? Something like shiny down there. What the hell is that? Are those cans, or so I can't tell from here. There's also something there. What is that? Okay. I don't know what that is, but you can see from the light that it's like, I don't know if it's showing up on camera, but it's like glimmering. What the heck? Oh, it looks like there's a, maybe a jacket or something? Or somebody lying there. I, I don't even know if this is actually showing. Oh, it is showing up on camera. Hello? Anybody over there? Okay. Oh, I remember this. Look, the mattresses. There's like a whole bunch of random mattresses here. This is new, I think. I don't remember seeing that. How would I get to that side to see what that is? Okay. This is this is creepy. Is there somebody lying there? Dude, I cannot tell. Okay, that's... Okay, but what is this? Um... It says something. You... Looks like it goes in a circle. R... 7? Um... Okay. It's like a little alien head, almost. Okay. I'm kind of worried that that might be... Is that like a body or something? I don't know how to get to that side, guys. Otherwise, I'd go check, but... Hello? I don't know. There's another mattress there, and a green thing literally right there. Definitely like, dude, I think that's actually a person. 
person. I think that's literally a person just lying there. Okay. We gotta see if we can get, I don't know what that is, but that's clearly not solid ice. Um, we gotta see if we can get to the other side. I'm just gonna keep an eye on that. Just in case. So I wonder if I can like, is there a way up? No, there's literally no way up from here. That's, that's creepy. Okay. Like they're not moving. Uh, there's got to be a way up. I mean, I could go up this way, but damn, that seems like I don't know. I don't know what to do right now. But okay. It, I mean, it could just be literally a piece of clothing lying there on the ground. Um, I have absolutely no idea. Like I don't. I don't see them moving. Um, honestly at night my eyes are not that great, but I don't know. I guess, uh, I'm gonna stop for a second. Maybe I'll run another intent and, uh, see where it takes us. Okay, so, uh, I've been standing here for a little bit. Whatever that is, if that's a person just lying there in the snow, first of all, that's very creepy. Um, second of all, they're not moving. And I have no idea how to get there. Um, oh, I thought I saw something move. Oh, that startled me. <laughs> so, I could maybe see afterwards if there's like a part that I can cross from. I don't know, it's not super evident at the moment. Um, but I did run another intent, which was uh, from Mary Lou. And uh, honestly, I don't even remember what the intent was. I'm gonna double check on my phone again. And uh, it is up that way. Uh, looks like we got a bit of a hike ahead of us. So, let's go. Okay, so uh, I had a chance to double check. The intent is from Mary Lou. It is out of the dark and into the light. So, I don't see any light, just darkness at the moment. Um, at the same time, I'm gonna be looking for a possible spot to cross this river, uh, just to see if we can get to the other side. Don't know if it's gonna be doable. Uh, maybe somewhere where it narrows. I mean, I do have waterproof boots. So hopefully it's not super deep, like maybe here somewhere, I don't know. But I'm gonna go to the point first, and then we'll cross and uh, see if we can get to the other side. Oh. It's getting a little bit colder, but still not too bad. Still bearable, way better than the last couple times I've been out. Definitely not gonna lie about that. Uh, Thought I saw something shimmer there for a second. But I don't see anything, no people or anything. <sighs> okay. I mean, what I could do as well is maybe go up that way. That actually looks like it might go to the top of the bridge. So on the way back, we'll do that. We should be able to cut across and then hopefully shoot down um, but we'll figure that out on the way back. Because honestly, I can't tell. I think it might just be like a jacket or something that's just been, you know, left behind for some odd reason. I'm honestly excited to do some travels again. Change it up. I don't know if I can actually cross from that side either. Man, <laughs> the challenges of uh, some of these adventures sometimes. I thought I heard something. Like a whistle. Okay. I mean, there's a lot of houses that back onto this, so you could literally be just about anything or anyone. What is that? Huh. 
Huh. Is it a camera? I think it might be a camera. Yep, I think it's uh oh yeah, look at that. It's a Polaroid. It's all snowy. Uh interesting. That's kinda cool. Where does like the Polaroids come out of? There, I guess. I've always wanted to get a Polaroid. Maybe I just got one. Oh crap. Never mind, I just broke it. <laughs> oh crap. Oh what the hell? There's something in here. Personals. Mrs. Robert Lane of Limehouse is spending a few days in Georgetown. Oh, interesting. I've been to Limehouse before. Mrs. Marjorie Cross and Gladys Picker spent Wednesday in Toronto. Dr. J. Burns, mine, attended the dental convention at Toronto this week. Uh, Dr. F. R. Watson attended the dental convention at the Royal York Hotel this week. Mrs. W. M. Tyndall spent... Okay, what is this? Mr. and Mrs. Arthur Lane, Dorothy and Norma of Toronto spent the week and with Mrs. Robert Lane, Limehouse, Mrs. A. N. Perth of Toronto spent... Okay, what it Like, <laughs> it's just talking about people hanging out with other people. Uh, under the date of May 6th, uh, at the bottom there it says 1937. Let me try and bring this into focus here. Uh, announcing Boy Schneider and his swing band Hang on. at Stanley Park Erin for the season of 1937, May 24th, midnight. Okay. Um, so for some reason we have a Polaroid with some like random ancient almost sort of news article but not quite and this thing is also broken now um it's kind of there's nothing in it apart from this i don't even know how you put this back together am i doing this right i don't know well i don't know why this is here um i do apologize to whoever <laughs> it belongs to because I have clearly broken it at this point. Um, yeah, so there you go. There's your uh, Polaroid back where I found it. Why would that be there though? That's very strange. I mean, dude, like I find kind of the weirdest things just kind of all over the place. Whew. Sometimes it makes sense. Sometimes it makes absolutely no sense. Okay, so... Uh, got a fork in the road here, so we can go either right or left, but I think we're supposed to go left. I have to double check. There's also some green thing here and whatever that is, that is a stamp. It says, most angels are not invisible and they usually leave their wings at home. Uh, 2005 Stampin' Up it says F2 huh and then whatever that says LMR I don't know what that means okay what's this green thing I don't know I can't really like tell hang on oh you know what this is I think this is a kaleidoscope. Huh. What's it doing over here? Very odd. Okay, well, whatever. Let's uh, keep heading towards our original intent. Oh, damn. This battery is like almost kaput. We're running low on juice. Thought I charged this battery, but I guess not. Just a random bench. That's about it. Well, I'll keep going. I'll change it in uh, probably a few minutes. Um, thought I heard something out there. I mean, could have just been an animal, but 
haven't seen any, like at all. Yeah, I'll probably get around this corner and then uh, change up the battery. Hopefully I brought one, which I did. Good. Okay, well, it doesn't look like there's anything here and we still got a ways to go, so I think I'll uh, stop for a second, change the battery, and uh, keep on going, I suppose. Okay, so, um, new battery in. We're good to go. What in the actual hell was that? That was loud. There's no way the microphone didn't pick that one up. Okay, looks like there's a bridge there. That was weird. It sounded like almost like a pig squeal or something. Hello? Got a uh, creepy looking bridge here. And some antenna looking thing over there. I don't know what the hell that was. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I imagine there's probably no random pigs roaming around, but then again, I guess you'd never really know. Uh, I don't really see anything down there. I mean, it kind of sounded like it came in this direction, but there's no one here. Unless they're like in there. Nope. Huh. Something here. What is that? Fill in words. Uh, okay. Odd. <laughs> we found like something kind of like this a few days ago. Didn't we? I think. <sighs> ah, damn. Got my hand right in the snow. It's not even filled in. Oh, yes, it is. Kill him, see away. Uh, email, control, sign. What the f yes, scare, hair. Sorry, not. What the hell am I even looking at? Oop. Yes, evil, echo, echo. Oh, shit. Okay, okay. Could just be coincidence. Run echo. It says echo again. Scare. Run. Hair. Hair. Oh, hair. What the? What the hell is that supposed to mean? Reveal. Truth. Yes. I don't know what that says. Welt. Yes. Scare. Hair. Sorry. Not. Okay. I don't. I don't get it. Oh, that's gonna be one soggy ass, but okay, so this clearly has not been here for a, a long time Because uh, it's not completely soaked 
So, uh, yeah. I don't really know what to make of that, but this is not even our point. Something's going on here. Oh, that's that sound again. Hello? Try and get my glove back on in the meanwhile. Alright, something really, really weird is going on. Uh, I'm gonna have to put the camera down for a second so I can fix my glove because it's just all kerfuffled. Okay. I swear I heard something. It sounded like it came from this direction. Like someone walked. So our point is a little bit further up. There's that antenna thing. I think I just saw someone back there. Hello? Also, where the hell is this thing taking us to? <laughs> <laughs> like Montauk? <laughs> I'm assuming it's just like a 5G tower or whatever. But it looked like somebody was back there. Even if there is, I don't know where the hell they're... What the hell they're doing back there, but... <laughs> I don't know. Okay, well... So this is supposed to be our point. We got a, uh... Probably frozen over lake. Um, looks pretty cool. I got a little island out there. I remember coming here actually. What the hell? Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, damn. Sirens. Oh, it scared me for a second. <laughs> uh, yeah, I definitely remember coming out here. Okay, well, what are we supposed to find? There's a random pylon. Okay. Why is there a pylon here? Well, that's not gonna come out. <laughs> I was gonna check if anything's under it, but that's quite literally frozen to the ground. Uh, okay, well, someone walked out here. I see some footprints. This random basin thing here. Okay. Huh, okay, well, I don't really see anything, and there's quite a lot of ground to cover, and I'm kind of getting a little tired here. Uh, so I might start hiking back, I suppose, and, uh, well, I kind of wanted to get to the other side of that bridge for a second, just to see what the hell was down there. So maybe we'll go do that, and then uh, we'll see what's after that. All right, so we're almost back at the bridge. Um, I haven't really located any easy ways to cross this river, so that way we can get to that other side. Um, so what I'm gonna do is go up, hopefully cut across, and then go back down. So that way we can get a glance as to what the hell that, that reflective thing is on the ground. 
Um, also, what's that? Oh, we got an old glove. Okay, awesome. <laughs> I'm telling you, you just find random discarded items all over the freaking place. Okay, so whatever we were looking at, I think it's there, but I don't see anything now. It's kind of hard to tell from up here. Let's get a little further ahead. Also kind of need to be careful because I don't want to drop the camera. Uh, oh yeah, there is, there it is, I think. I don't know what that is, but... Hello? Might just be some discarded clothing. Oh man, this is going to be uh, one shitty way down. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this. Damn. Guys, check out what I literally just found. Uh, there's literally a child's bed set right there. I don't know if I can uh, do this. So otherwise, yeah, that's pretty steep. There's no way I'm going to get down here. Damn. But, like, why is there an entire bed set here? That is... Uh... <laughs> Not the place for it. There's something there, too. Damn. Oh, I can see whatever it is that I was uh, looking at down there. I don't know what that is. I honestly cannot tell, but okay. Uh, maybe we'll go try the other side. And on this side, it appears we have a random grocery cart. Okay. We might be able to scale this. Oh, boy. See, the problem is there's random trash thrown everywhere. Like, I'm literally standing what I think... Is a giant garbage bag. No, we can't do that. That's gonna be uh, painful if we slip. So I'm gonna head the hell out of here. I don't know what that is, probably just garbage. Problem is with all the random debris everywhere and ice also, uh, it's kind of treacherous to get down there. So I'm just gonna pass on this one for now. Uh, we'll head back to the car, probably reset, maybe run another point um, and see where we end up next. Okay, so uh, we're almost back at the car. Uh, just a little bit more to go. So this is quite the walk. Um, but I came over here when suddenly I heard that weird squeal again. It sounded like it came from down there. Only thing is I don't see anybody. So I don't know, I don't know what the hell that's all about. A whole bunch of stuff it looks like was written on this bridge. Okay. Is there anyone down there? I mean, it's pretty well lit up. If somebody was on the trail, I probably would have seen them, but I did not. <laughs> That's the thing. I wonder also if there's like any trails to go this way through there. Um, none that are visible really. It looks like a lot of thick bush. So yeah, I don't I don't know what that was all about. Um, it's kind of strange the last couple of times we've been hearing some very ominous sounds. Almost as if like, it's like there's a group of people kind of around watching me maybe calling out to each other. I don't know. It's just, it's odd. The encounters that we've been having a lot lately, um, they seem very coordinated. So, and I've checked my car many, many times for things like trackers. Never seem to find anything. Um, taken it into the shop many times. Same thing. They have not found a single thing. So I don't, I don't know what the deal is. I don't know how these people are able to track my movements. It's like they know everything that I'm doing. I guess using this app, maybe. I don't know. Um, I mean, now we got this hacker group named Parker all of a sudden. Makes no sense. But uh, we're trying to find answers. That's, that's why I keep doing this. Um, at least for now. So let's uh, head back to the car. Alright guys, so uh, the adventure continues. I ran another intent. Decided to go with C3. Because we have not done that one in quite some time. Um, and apparently it's bringing me to... Not the park, but like... It shows the point is somewhere just behind it, like down this other trail. Uh, so I guess we're going to head over there and see what we find. Um, yeah, C3 
is interesting. Um, for these, those of you that don't know, C3 is like apparently this missing person, I guess. I don't even know how to describe them. Uh, some guy named Cameron joined some cult named Viserion, etc, etc, etc. Uh, he's been kind of like popping up for quite some time and recently we've been getting some clues but not when we use the intent C3 which makes literally no sense so <laughs> I figured let's give it a shot this probably won't even end up in the video if we don't end up finding anything anyways um, but yeah let's go back there and see if we can locate C3 all right here goes nothing so we got a jungle gym um, that looks like fun <laughs> I loved jungle gyms when I was a kid. What is this? There's like a giant sign here for something. Uh, honoring those who lost their lives on Air Canada Flight 621. Oh, wait. Did that happen here? Obelisk at Mount Pleasant Cemetery. Oh, I, th I think I've been there before. On July 5th, 1970, a devastating event occurred on the site changing the lives of many Air Canada Flight 621 left Montreal. 717 with 100 passengers and 9 crew members. The flight was en route to LA with a stopover at what is now known as Toronto Pearson Airport. As the airplane approached the airport, the right wing struck the ground during its descent. Oh boy. The pilot was able to pull up to 3,000 feet and fly north away from the airport at approximately 8 a.m. the engines on the wing exploded. The right wing fell away and the airplane crashed to the ground in this former farm field in the village of Castlemore, 6.2 miles north of the airport. Holy crap, I never knew that. Wow. So that was literally here then. Crash site cemetery. Where's that? I don't even know where that is. I've never, I never knew that happened, damn. I've been living in Brampton for a long time, never knew that. So, um, <laughs> as I kind of get older, I develop a uh, increasing fear of planes, and this is like kind of the reason. Huh. What the f was that? Um, I don't even know where that came from. I know it was that direction, but... Okay, so for one, is there a cemetery here? And number two, what was that sound? Okay. I can see like a plaque thing over there. all the names. Oh wow. Is there a person down there? Get out my uh, O light. I don't know, I th thought there was a person down there for a second. A random picnic table. It kind of sounded like it came from back here. There's something on that picnic table. Is that a cross? It's like a little Lego thing. Okay, what's up with all the Lego lately? I've been finding like random Lego pieces. And now there's a wooden cross. What the hell? What is that supposed to mean? We know about Parker. Prepare yourself. JS. Oh, sh Okay. Uh, I don't know what the hell's going on right now, but where's the cemetery exactly? I don't even know where like it's located. Okay. Um. 
So clearly, I think someone was just trying to get my attention. Where the hell they went, I have no idea. Clearly, they're trying to send me a message. Uh, I don't know what to make of this. All right, somebody out there, show yourself, These cowards. I don't know what their problem is, man. There's something here, what is that? Uh, what? What is? Oh, is it a glove? And a ball? What the hell? <laughs> uh, okay. Gotta be careful because there could be somebody here. Is this like where the cemetery is supposed to be? I don't. I don't really know. What exactly is back here? Yeah, there's just like a bunch of these random markers, but I don't know what uh, they're marking exactly. Okay. Okay, now it came from that direction. What the f uh, Okay, well, I'm like just literally standing in a field. I don't know where this cemetery is. Exactly. Uh, I might look it up, but... Where did that sound come from? Also, the point was like down there somewhere. It looked like it was around that bridge. So I guess we'll walk there. What the f <laughs> Like, I don't- there's no one around. As far as I can tell, anyway. I don't see anyone. Okay, well, I guess we'll head over there, just to take a quick peek. But dude, like, I don't understand what the, what that's all about. We know about Parker, prepare yourself. Like, what is that even? If that ain't a threat, I don't know what is. Can I, like, cut through somehow? <laughs> That's what I'm trying to figure out. Guys, like, I literally, I don't see anybody out here. What the hell was that? Is that a bird? Okay. So now we're hearing a bird, but what we heard was human. There was no f bird. is like down there okay let's just walk over it only take a 
a few minutes of our time. Like I said before, sometimes this makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. And this is quite literally proving my point. Uh, not seeing anything, but let's just get to this bridge. And uh, See if there's anything here. It's pretty obvious at this point that these guys, I don't know why, but they're clearly trying to send me a message. Oh, f I think I remember now. Okay, hang on. Definitely never been here before. This is new. Looks kind of cool. What the hell is that? Okay. It's like a ripped up shopping bag that's just been maniacally tied to this bridge. I don't... I don't understand. Yeah, I don't, I don't get it. Um, one thing I do remember, um, I'm trying to recall, but there was something along the lines of like a message from these Parker people, which if you don't know what I'm talking about, um, apparently they're a hacker group or something. Um, and they sent me a message recently about taking care of my Viserian problem or something along those lines. And I'm like, what the f are they talking about? Is that what they meant? Like, somehow now these two groups are feud- I don't know what the f*** is going on. <laughs> this is just ridiculous. Um, and also there was that church that I still have to go to in Toronto. Hopefully I can get to it before uh, I end up leaving for my next trip. But I am going to- That was it squeal again okay something really really stupid is going on tonight i'm just gonna start heading back uh i kind of want to see where the cemetery is but maybe i'll just have to come during the day um because i don't i have no idea where it is i didn't even know this existed to begin with okay let's just uh let's just go I don't know, man, I feel like whoever the f*** these guys are, they're not going to leave me alone. Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, so, uh, just got back to the car, and what else is new, but of course someone left something on my car. The other weird thing was when I was down there, I heard, you know that beep noise when you unlock the car? That beep, beep, or whatever. Not like the alarm going off or anything, but for some reason I thought I heard that, and I didn't really make anything of it, because I thought maybe it was, like, there's a bunch of houses around here, so it could have literally just been any car. Maybe it wasn't even my car. It kind of sounded like my car, but a lot of them all sound the same these days. Um, but here's what was left. Another photographer's guide, or whatever. This time, National Geographic Photographer's Field Guide. Now we got random car driving by. Um, yeah, I don't know what the deal is with this. Um, but I sat here for a couple minutes, and I'm like, dude, what the f*** is going on here? Like, whoever keeps leaving this stuff on my car 
is out of control. The other day we found that journal from Emily. Um, yeah, I don't know what that was all about, but I'll add that clip if you don't know what I'm talking about to the end of this video in case you missed it. I definitely would recommend going back and watching that full video um, because there was somebody that we were getting information on with the name Emily and then strangely tonight we found that little tin thing, the pencil case or whatever, pencil tin I guess we'll call it, and uh, it had the name Emily. It was completely empty, which made absolutely no sense. So it's like clearly somebody's sending me a message. What that message is, I have no idea. This is literally just a book. Um, there's quite literally something if you want to, I guess, I don't even know. Uh, ideal for camera clubs and photography classes. Perfect gift for every can camera buff. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't know really what to make of any of this. But uh, to me, I kind of thought about it. And it seems like it is possible that somebody who keeps leaving these photography things all over the place um, is trying to send me maybe a message that they're watching me is that what they're trying to tell me like they are seeing everywhere i'm going etc etc i don't i don't know i don't i literally do not know what to make of this but oh boy apart from that um yeah i'll probably make one more video before i hit the road um and go out into the extreme craziness of remote canada I'm definitely looking forward to it. I really, really want to do something a little bit different. Um, take a little bit of a break, maybe, from this. I don't I don't know. But, uh, yeah, apart from that, um, here's the clip from what I was talking about. Uh, something is on the car. Oh, we got, we got a journal, apparently. Oh. All right, well... Let's just get in the car. Okay, so what the hell do we even have here? It literally just says journal. I could see that there was clearly something written in it. Yeah. So lately there's been like, I don't know, everywhere I park, people leave random on my car. If you find this, please help, Emily. Okay. February 5th, 2002. I've been trapped on this island for some time now with no way out. Paul will not even let me out of the house. I'm terrified of him that he might kill me. I need help, Emily. That's disturbing. Okay, so two things about this. First thing, Emily. Um, do you remember a very long time ago? We're talking probably like over a year, year and a half maybe? Okay. I think. Uh, we found some notes about some Emily person. Was it another journal? I think so. Like a personal journal? I don't really journal? remember everything that was in it, but I remember it was kind of like strange and I, I just, the name just rings a bell. It sounds right to me. Were you with me and we also found it under your uh, windshield wiper? Yeah, yeah. I'm pretty positive I was with you and it was like a little purple booklet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was yeah. like a random notepad yeah, or I can remember something that. along those lines. Second thing, February 5th is my birthday. It is? Yeah. It's also oh, Cristiano wow. Ronaldo's birthday. There you go. But he stole it from me, so. <laughs> Uh, February 6, 2002. He is drunk again. Okay. He gets very mean when he drinks. Last night he told me how ugly I was and threw a bottle of Crown Royal at me. Hmm. I think I need stitches. Yikes. Please help me, God. Emily. <sighs> February 7, 2002. This house is so cold and dirty. My blouse is not enough to keep me warm. I feel like I am going insane. I'm not even sure where I am. I know I'm in Canada somewhere north, but there, that's all I know. Emily. Uh, February 8, 2002. I think I might be in Ontario. I saw something 
he had and I'm convinced that is where I might be. I'm genuinely very scared. He has been giving me very little to eat. I think I've lost 20 pounds since I got here a month ago. That's I miss disturbing. That is disturbing, right? I miss my family, my mom and dad. Must realize I'm missing by now. I miss you both so much, Emily. Okay, what the f Well, and you know what's wild? That wasn't that your intent was missing person? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I forgot what the, the intent even was. Yeah, like, I'm pretty sure it was missing So person. how is this connect, though? So we found something that was very threatening out there. Yeah. Um, we found that thing about Parker. Mm-hmm. Now we find this. Well, the only thing that we know is that Parker is missing. I mean, what if Parker... Well, it sounds like these Parker people are self-proclaimed hackers. Yeah, right? yeah. And I mean, we don't know if Parker Emily having a girlfriend. Might be missing. I don't know. I don't yeah. know what the connection of this. I don't know what any of this is supposed to mean. February 10th, 2002. I felt really sick yesterday. Probably the worst I've ever felt. I could not even see. That's why there was no entry yesterday. Someone please get me out of here. Every time. Wow. Oh yeah, it skips a day. February 8th and then it goes to February 10th. Mm -hmm. February 11th. Dear sister, I love you and miss you dearly. Sarah, I must not even... I might not even see you again. I'm sorry I said those things the last time I saw you. Well, that was creepy. The lights on that house just flickered on and off. Yeah, I saw that too. That right? was creepy. I didn't mean any of it. I love you and hope to see you again on this earth or maybe somewhere else. Yikes. Tell mom and dad I love them. Emily Hart. February 12th. I'm really scared. He's angry. And then it's just signed E. Wow. February 13th. He was really angry last night. I had to run and hide. I got lucky he was so drunk. He tripped and fell. He passed out and that was the end of it. His demeanor was different today. He let me outside for a bit. He's quite, huh? He's quite here? I don't know what that means. No one around. Oh, it's... I think they meant to write quiet. It's quiet here. Oh, okay. No one around. Yeah, I still have sense. no clue where I am. There's a lot of trees, and that's about it, Emily. So, abusive boyfriend or like abduction. It sounds like an abusive boyfriend to me because... It sounds like a bit of everything. Yeah. I don't... February 14th. My pencil is running out. I am not sure I'll be able to write tomorrow. I need to see if I can find another in this... Emily. Wow. And then help. Literally just says help. That's just yeah. that's just sad. That's it? So if this was in your windshield, like well, what if why this, though? What if this girl's crying out to you for help and that's why she shoved it in your windshield? I don't know. I don't know what to say, but mm -hmm. uh, we're gonna get the hell out of here. Yeah. Because um, I'm very spooked out at this point. I'll just put that there. When the you group. when you roll back this footage, I can remember when we started walking down the trail yeah. that we saw like a, a vehicle or something around this area. I would definitely oh, look that at that. Drove up, right? Yeah, yeah. I like it was like a light. I think I might have been facing that way. What I was. Yeah. You'll, right? you'll see me and you though we both turned around like our heads yeah, turned around see, we're like, like oh what's we, that we, we acknowledged that there was a car coming something close to your vehicle yeah it was them i think i think or her so. was mm -hmm. that emily yeah it's so she's in trouble she needs help and she doesn't say a word i don't understand um well like maybe she's scared when people like this are being abused though angelo but what if it's not the only thing her they at all what if it's like somebody it could be somebody messing understand. with us too yeah, yeah. Okay, well that's it for this one. Let's uh, let's turn up the heat, warm up, and get the hell out of here. All right, bro. <laughs> what do you say? Yeah, let's do it. So yeah, that was that clip. Uh, I don't know who this Emily person is. I don't know if they need help. Uh, it's just strange to me that they're leaving journals about somebody who clearly may need help, and I don't really know what to do with it. 
like with that information but uh yeah that is pretty much the end of this video smash the like button um subscribe if you're new and turn notifications on and uh yeah that's pretty much it love you bye, -bye.